a bit of an early start this morning. We got up way before light um, for the last day in front. The forecast forecast says it's going to start raining 11, maybe 12. Um, so we're just trying to squeeze in a couple more hours climbing and for Sophie to have one more go at her project that she got so close to last night. So yeah, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we won't get too wet. Hopefully Sophie will send her project and we'll get back to the van before all the rain comes in and we get soaking wet. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. So we are walking into Raymond. Ray Raymond? Ray Raymond. 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 Uh, for Sophie to try her project, which is the big long traverse 7A. Which, can you remember the name? No. No. <laughs> it's got a name. Uh, we'll flash the name up on the screen. So, tactics this morning. What are you Climb gonna... it. <laughs> are you going to. Try the crux again first, or are you, are you just jumping straight on it? Yeah, straight on it because it's more about like the crux. The the moves are it's just long. I'm just gonna do the crux and not fall off. And not fall. <laughs> okay. Top tips. Top tips. Do the crux. Don't fall off. Climb it. Climb it before the rain comes. Yeah, rain's coming in it. Well, one forecast says 11, one forecast says 12. One forecast says no rain. I'm using that one. Come on girl, run the world, I'll buy you the champion Ooh la la, ooh la 
rock. It's a very long rock. I thought I was going to drop it just here. You're going up with the right hand and then having to go out left again. I couldn't feel either hand. Just blindly holding on. I think shaking out here on the corner for that fraction of a second and maybe shaking out each time up along this bit here helped a little bit, eke out a little bit more on the right hand. Uh, okay. 7A, not bad Yay. for somebody with a dodgy so shoulder. <laughs> it's going to get fixed. I'll come back even stronger. Yeah. yeah. Just think in two years' time that will just be like, Ugh. Warm up route. <laughs> I'll never be a warm up route. <laughs> Save the best till the end of the trip, eh? Yeah, finish on a high. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> uh -huh. Here you go, find your 7B boulder to complete your 7B tick list. Pretty much. A 7B a day. Keeps Brett happy. <laughs> Jug of glory at the end. If I hit that jug, I'll be a happy man. Slightly warmer today, I think, and the friction's not quite as good. And this sloper, when you to hold the swing, just kept peeling off time and time again. Oh, I just about managed to hold through it somehow. Skin my teeth. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this is not a jug. This is it's a hundred percent pure sloper. Oh, I just twist my ankle. Just as I was saying, finish on a high. <laughs> Don't want to jinx it. Fell over. Twist my ankle a little bit. Well, uh, back on the road. We finished a little bit early in Font. We 
we both sent I, I, I think a good problem each like finishing I think to finish on a high is a good thing not to maybe push it and try something else that <laughs> might end on a slightly depressing note so stopped with the weather with the Sems we thought we'd just we'd call it a day so we're on our way back to Calais now um, and see if we can get an earlier crossing we have booked a crossing for tomorrow morning but it'd be good if we could get one tonight perhaps but we'll see. Yeah, let's see if we can get that train. Mm. Morning. Well, we didn't get an earlier crossing last night, so we spent the night just outside the Eurotunnel compound with it. Um, but we have got one that's about half an hour earlier this morning, so just waiting in the queue to get on the giant train. He says good morning. Great trip to Font, it's been, yeah, really good. Yeah, the weather's held out actually. I mean, last year we went and it just chucked it down with rain pretty much all week and we only got maybe about two, three days climbing, but it's the opposite way around this time. So we got, how many days climbing? Like, seven out of ten? Something like that, yeah. And like three that. days of wet weather. It was pretty good. I think you had a very good, a very <laughs> good uh, trip, didn't you? Yeah, so list. after sort of setting out with this a sort of hopeful goal of maybe climbing a 7B, ended up climbing four 7Bs four days. in four days. So I was quite pretty happy with that. That was good. You're on a roll, you're like day after day, you're like, oh, yeah. that'll be it, that'll be it, that's be done for the, for the trip. So, next day, new 7B. Ah, that's it, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you still got 7A, even with your dodgy shoulder. Uh, yeah, it was a very specific climb. I mean, normally I'd travel around Fontainebleau looking for a climb that's got just the right holes <laughs> so I can hold them, but also they're all within reach. And there's very, a very small selection of climbs that are like that. But then to find them with, with no dodgy left shoulder is also narrows the field a little bit. Yeah. It's been a good week. Yeah, it's been a great week. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's sort of it from us. We're on the train back to the UK now. Um, a few bits of work to sort out and things like that. Uh, well, anyway, hope you enjoyed our trip to Font and watching us climb some of the boulders there. Uh, if you've got any questions, then feel free to get in touch. Put them and stuff down in the comments. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Uh, and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.